What's up everybody? This is Madi from Madi's Review Channel. Today I'm back with another video. Today I'll be unboxing the new 2018 NVIDIA Shield. Stay tuned. Alright, so let's go ahead and unbox this NVIDIA Shield. This is the 2018 model. Right here on this side of the box are the specs. This is the 3 gigabyte RAM, 256 core NVIDIA graphics. This is the 16 gig model. As you can see, you can do movies and TVs, voice control, gaming, and it's got Google Assistant. So let's just go ahead and open up the box. And right here is your standard remote with voice control. It's got a nice matte look to this. It's standard from your other um, models. It's very thin and lightweight. Looks very nice, very light to hold. And this little strip down there is what you turn up and down. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the NVIDIA Shield box itself. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than previous models. It's a lot thinner. It does fit in your hand and on the back side you've got your power port you got your ethernet cable hdmi you got usb 1 and 2 and then there's your fan and then right here on this side you got the bottom right here where the vents are so it's very lightweight as you can see it fits into my hand well a little bit all right so let's open up the package this model does not come with the HDMI cord. You have to have that aside. So right here is your instructions booklet. Just tells you how to set it up, how to use the remote, so on and so forth. This is your quick start guide. This basically tells you how to pair your remote to your NVIDIA Shield. And right here you do get a power cord, just like the other ones. Matte finish, not really bad. The only bad thing about this is it doesn't come with an HDMI cable, but I've already had a few here to spare, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. So I'm just going to go ahead and come back and I'll set up the system and I'll walk you through how to set it up. All right, so it's going to say welcome. I'm going to go ahead and click on English. It says, do you want to connect it with your phone or tablet? I'm just going to go ahead and click no. And then go ahead and select your Wi-Fi. I'm going to speed this up. It says connected successfully. So now it'll take me to my sign into my Google. So I will go ahead and enter my Google details. I'm going to fast forward the video. Um, you can use your phone or laptop or just use your password. And I'm going to go ahead and use my password. I have to do a few more steps. And accept the privacy location. I always note this. Improve your Android TV. Right here it's going to say um, agree to the software terms. Join the rewards. I'm going to say no. And then you can just pick your favorite apps. I'm just going to click on YouTube. And I'm not going to do the rewards. So I'm just going to click on continue. As you can see, there's other apps here. You've got NBC, ABC, Twitch, HBO Go, ESPN. Right here is where you pair your device to your remote. And this is just upgrading the software. Just going to go ahead and wait for this to update. It should not take that long and it'll restart again and you will get this Android logo it'll spin for a bit and then it has been updated to the latest version and then it'll go through quick setup what's new on this version I believe this is 722 so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast this and this is also with Google Voice you can use Chromecast that's built in. Here's the version 7.2.2 and it tells you basically what bugs they fixed, what's new in this version. 
And there's a lot more content down here. I'm not going to go through it all. Just to speed up this video a bit. This also works with all your Google Home stuff. So right here is your standard apps. You got your YouTube, the Google Play Movies, music. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple apps in here so I can load my third-party apps. You can customize, add anything to the home screen. So I'm just going to go into the apps, go into the Play Store. A few of these are updating. So I'm just going to go ahead and this, I'm going to deny it because I don't use an audio recording. And I'm going to type in ES File Explorer. This is a must have. You want to go ahead and install this. And the next one you want to get would be Sideload Launcher. So just go ahead and click on that, install that. Go ahead and click continue. Wait for that to install. Then I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. If you go down to the top where it says apps, you can go ahead and add it to your screen, which I'm going to go ahead and add it here. And all the other ones I'm going to remove. So I'm just going to go ahead and click into the side load launcher. I'm going to go to ES File Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and set up this. Agree. I'm going to click on allow. And then if you want to add a cloud drive, go ahead and click on the cloud drive. You can log in with Google Drive or with other cloud drive. So I'm going to do other. You've got Box, SugarSync, Dropbox. You got S3, Google Drive, OneDrive, Yonex, whatever those two other ones, and Mediafire. I always use Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and also Mediafire. Those ones I see to be working faster size I have accounts with them so I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my Dropbox and it's gonna ask you if you want it to access the contents in your foil in your folder I'm gonna go ahead and click allow so as you can see I have done downloaded third-party apps I cannot show due to copyright process um, I'm just gonna show you right here there's Tubi TV you can add it to the main screen you've got Pluto you have daily motion um, I do have a Plex account, so it is connected to my service, and there's a lot of content on there. Um, as you can see, there's lots of movies right here. Tubi TV, actually, once you download it from the Play Store, it will actually bring up to the side menu right here, and there's a lot of movies in there. This is um, free as well as Pluto, which has a TV guide and everything. So that's a pretty good live TV show. It has 24 hour TV shows. So if you're interested in like um, the forensic files, they're all there. And as you can see, I've got Cinema HD, Titanium TV. Here's YouTube, Tubi TV, and then Daily Motion. And then this one right here is Plex. It does my recommended. You can get more apps, and here's your other apps right here. And then you got your game apps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you can add more when you click on the plus. And this is your side load launcher. These are just the apps that I've added into my side load launcher. Let's go ahead and try a YouTube video. I don't think I'm signed in, so let's just go ahead and click on YouTube. Now it's going to say welcome. It's free if you want to sign in for YouTube Red. I'm just going to bypass that. I'm going to go into the search function. I'm going to go ahead and type in my channel. I'm going to play something just to show you that it does load fairly quickly. The um, quality is very clear. Let's go ahead and pick another video. That one had an ad. So let's just go ahead and pick on the LGB20, the unboxing. As you can see, it loaded fairly quickly. No buffering whatsoever. 
and I'll go ahead and scroll to the left or to the right so you can see some of the movies that are in 2B TVs due to copyright. I cannot play anything. And then I do have an IPTV service, which is the, I have the IPTV Smarters Pro app. Um, if you're interested in that, you can go to my website, mattiesreviewchannel.com, look under IPTV. I did a review on that one. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested in the IPTV Smarters. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to compare the 2018 model versus the 2015 model. Okay, and right here on the left hand side is the 2015 and this is the brand new 2018 Mini. As you can see, there is a big size difference. Um, the weight also is a big difference. This one is a lot smaller. Um, they both have pretty much the same um, features. They have the fan at the bottom. As you can see, the smaller one has the fan right there, a little bit more, more ventilation where the bottom is not so much ventilation. As you can see and on the back of the devices the 2015 which is at the top so we're gonna go from the left hand side which the 2015 has a micro SD card spot you got the micro charging port you got the USB 1 and 2 your Ethernet and you've got your power plug port and right here is your USB 1 and 2 HDMI your Ethernet cable and your power outlet so the only thing difference between these two is the micro SD slot. And right here is the difference of the boxes. On the left is the 2015 versus the 2018. This one comes with the remote, HDMI cable, power, and instructions. This one just comes with a power cord, instructions booklet, the Nvidia Shield itself, and also the remote. Different sizes in the box. The one on the left hand side which is the 2015 this is the gaming one so it actually came with the gamepad so other than um, a few minor upgrades I would say they both function the same um, I wouldn't say one's better than the other but if you're on the other hand like me want something a little bit smaller that doesn't take up much room I would definitely say go for the 2018 if spaces doesn't matter to you I would go ahead and go with the 2015. As you can see on the box, they both um, rock a three gig RAM. They have both 16 gig. The difference is this one comes with a keypad, an HDMI cable. So there's not much difference in comparison. They run the same you know, software and everything other than a few changes. So, I mean, in my opinion, I would say, you know, depends on your need the smaller one basically best suits me because I have a smaller space to put it versus the other one so I mean tell me what you think what are you into are you more into the 2015 model or are you into the 2018 model go ahead and leave your comments below and I will check those don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and go ahead and hit that little notification bar so you get notified every time I upload a new video and also check me out at mattiesreviewchannel.com where you can see my updated latest APKs thanks for watching